This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So I think it's time that I did another video on this one because ever since Dillian White and Povetkin happened, of course, Chisora and Usyk has been announced and people are having their opinions on whether this is pay-per-view or whether it is not. Now, pay-per-views has have always been subjective. If you really want to watch it and you feel like, okay, I'll pay for it, then it's pay-per-view. That's what makes it subjective. Does the world title have to be on the line? Not if enough people click that red button. What makes a pay-per-view fighter? Well, what makes a pay-per-view fighter is if a fighter is going to fight and enough people click that red button consistently every time he or she fights. That's what makes a pay-per-view fighter. Now, it doesn't matter whether or not I think a certain fight's a pay-per-view. It doesn't matter whether or not I think that they're not. The fact is, it doesn't matter what I say. If I say Chisora Usyk is not worth £20, Sky Sports are not going to go, hang on a minute, Sport and Icon said that that's not worth £20. Let's put it to a regular Saturday night fight night. Let's do that. That's not going to happen, okay? No movement is going to change anything. I'm not going to change anything. But, of course, I'll give my opinion. Now, is the price structure too high? Well, not if enough people are clicking for it. If they bumped it up to £50 a pay-per-view. If enough people still click that button, guess what? That's the price. Simple as that, isn't it? Now, what determines a pay-per-view fighter? Is it part to do with social media? Of course. Is it part to do with how many views that they will do on an interview? Of course. All of it matters. Of course it does. That's why certain fights of past were not pay-per-view. Because they didn't really have social media then. They didn't really have YouTube. They couldn't gauge anything. All they had to do was take a gamble on this particular fight to say an Amir Khan or a Carl Froch or a Kel Brook or whoever it may be, a Lennox Lewis, a Frank Bruno, take a punt. And if they did good numbers, then that particular fighter will be pay-per-view there on afterwards until the numbers start dipping. That's how it works. It never mattered whether or not Lennox Lewis had a world title or Frank Bruno was fighting Mike Tyson for the world title or Kel Brook took on Sean Porter or Kel Brook took on Errol Spence Jr. Amy Khan took on Canelo. Carl Froch took on George Groves. Carl Froch took on, on Andre Ward and Bellew fought. Hey, none of it mattered if there was a world title on any of those fights or not because if enough people's clicking that button, that's what makes it pay-per-view. It's very, very simple, isn't it? Fury against Otto Wallin, Fury against Tom Schwartz, were they pay-per-view? Of course they were pay-per-view if enough people click that button. That's what makes a pay-per-view. It's as simple as is. KSI versus Logan Paul, is that a pay-per-view? Of course it's a pay-per-view if enough people are clicking that button. If not enough people are clicking that button to pay for um, this pay-per-view, then it's not going to be pay-per-view. And that particular fighter will not be pay-per-view after. If they start showing poor numbers, they will not be pay-per-view after. It's very, very simple. Why is Joshua a pay-per-view fighter? Because enough people click the button. I can go on and on about this. Now, a few years ago when, say, Amir Khan was fighting, again, Amir Khan spent a lot of his career and some of the big fights abroad. So that's a little bit more difficult to sell when you're fighting abroad at silly o'clock in the morning. You would have to be a huge, huge star. Amir Khan was a huge star, of course. And of course, you've got the international superstar and Carl Froch. He fought abroad in that as well, as did many, many others. Lennox Lewis spent pretty much his entire career abroad, didn't he? So it's a hard sell for the British public at silly o'clock in the morning. And to be honest with you, not a lot of people were really buying the pay-per-views back then. And... You couldn't really gauge on some of these guys whether or not they were pay-per-view worthy or not because social media wasn't really around to produce the kind of numbers that would make Sky and BT Sport go, you know what, that's a pay-per-view fighter. Carl Froch versus Andre Ward, we're definitely having that one because there's enough people want to watch it. They didn't know. They didn't know. They had no clue. Amir Khan versus Canelo. Was that pay-per-view? Well, they took a gamble because Canelo was there and Amir Khan was there, even though we pretty much knew the result. It's pay-per-view because they were confident that enough people were going to click that button. If nobody was clicking the button for Anthony Joshua, he wouldn't be pay-per-view. If nobody was clicking the button for Tyson Fury, he wouldn't be pay-per-view. Same with Dillian White, same with Tony Bellew, same with Kel Brook, same with whoever they put on pay-per-view. They could put Dave Allen versus Tom Little on pay-per-view. If not enough people... Click that button, Dave Allen will not be a pay-per-view after that one event. If enough people click the button where Sky Sports are happy, 
Dave Allen will be a pay-per-view fighter going forward. That's how it works. It's very simple. There's no point me moaning about it. There's no point me crying about it, uh, saying how the price is wrong, saying how Sky and BT Sport are money grabbers. Uh, Josh Warrington and Carl Frampton, that was never pay-per-view worthy and all this kind of stuff. It doesn't matter. If enough people click the button, then it's pay-per-view. If you really want to watch it and you're okay to pay for it, then you'll click the button. If you really want to watch it but not willing to pay for it, you'll find other means. If you're not really that bothered about it, then don't moan about it. Just don't watch it. If you think that it should be a regular Saturday night fight night, hey, that's fine. Of course, we pay our subscriptions, don't we? We've got to pay for our broadband in order to get the TV. Then you're going to get the TV package. Then you're going to get Sky Sports and BT Sport on top of that. And then, of course, they're going to throw in a pay-per-view on top of that. So, yes, every time that we pay for a pay-per-view, that's a pretty expensive month. But again, everything, again, is subjective. £5 is a lot of money for some people if you don't have it. £20, £25 is a lot of money for some people if you don't have it. If they start bumping the price up to 50 quid, you know what? We're going to have to lump it. It's as simple as that. They're not going to change it. These fighters want X amount of money, but this X amount of money isn't in the pot unless you put it on Sky Sports or BT Sport as pay-per-view because their purses will be determined by how many pay-per-views that they drive. That's how they get some of these fights. Do you think Chisora and Usyk would be willing to fight each other if it's not pay-per-view? Of course not. If it wasn't pay-per-view with an upside, they then they're, they're not going to fight each other. Dini White would not fight Povetkin if it was not pay-per-view. Joshua would not be fighting Pulev if it wasn't pay-per-view. Fury would not be fighting Wilder if it was not pay-per-view. That's what's pay-per-view. It's as broad as it is long, isn't it? If you think something's pay-per-view, buy it. If you don't, don't. If you think the price is too much, then don't pay for it. If you think the price is okay, then pay for it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Too many people moan about the price of pay-per-view. When you have the option, nobody has your arm up your back saying, you must click the button, you must... No, of course not. You don't have to. For me, I've, I don't stream fights. And if I really don't want to watch it, and if I'm really not happy about paying for it, then I won't. I'll wait until it's up on YouTube a couple of days later. Pretty simple, isn't it? Anyway, is it Adam Smith's fault? Is it John Rawlins' fault? Is it Eddie Hearn's fault? Is it Frank Warren's fault? Hey, here's what it is. We've had pay-per-views on YouTube before. As I said, Joseph Parker versus Huey Fury was on pay-per-view. Was that pay-per-view worthy? Yes, if enough people click that button. Very, very simple. Katie Taylor, if you were to have another fight with Delphine Pursuit, if they put it on pay-per-view, if Josh, Joshua Boazzi taken on um, this guy on uh, Sunday, if they put it on pay-per-view and enough people click that button, Joshua Boazzi would be a pay-per-view fighter going forward. That's how it works. It's all down to social media. It's all about numbers. It's all about business that you and I probably don't really understand. Okay? Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.